Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for joining me. I'm Katie and this is part two of the mermaid drawing. If you haven't got a clue what I'm on about, check out my previous video and you'll see where it all started. However, if you are following on from the video I last put up, then let's get cracking. So, after using the Stuart Semple World's Colouriest Watercolours and deciding to give up using them, I thought, I, I can't I can't let this picture go because I'd spent a long time designing it and drawing it out and even though the paints didn't agree with me or perhaps this painting, who knows, I didn't want to give up on it. I don't really like abandoning pictures or projects and it tend to finally build up so I thought right let's persevere and do a little bit extra to this. So what I decided to do to add some of that colour, some of that depth and some of them details which I just couldn't get with them paints was to crack open the Prismacolors. I also used some Polychromos, the Faber-Castell pencils to supplement it as well because I'd cut a few of them and I thought well why not they've both got different qualities. Now the first thing that was a bit of a struggle was to get it to behave on this paper and for this painting I'd used the Archie's watercolour 300 GSM hot press stuff so I used the good stuff here but I think because I'd used so many layers of water and really tried to build it all up it made it hard to keep layering the pencils so what I did to combat this and it was a bit of a a bit of a leap in the dark was to actually get the heat going on it just to see if it would melt the wax and let it set into the paper a bit more just enabling that very fine tooth to come back out and grip any extra layers and it did work to an extent so I can't grumble there. I really think this helped massively to add all those tonal differentiations I wanted and just to add in some some of them details where I just didn't have any confidence in that paint and although it wasn't the chosen method that I originally set out to use for this picture I'm glad I took that call and thought well you know what if I don't do anything to it it's it's a lost cause so if I at least try there's a possibility of bringing it back and it did and I was able to add the wave behind it using the white pencils and I just I didn't press on massively hard I just gradually layered and layered and layered and sharpened the pencil and then added finer details in as I went along and the same applies to her hair as well when I use the dark coloured pencils and the light ones just keeping a really sharp tip and not pressing on too hard which is something I'm a little guilty of now to really add some highlights to it I also included some Posca pens because they are brilliant to crack open on I wouldn't say it was an emergency but it was an emergency as this and it really really brings out the details in them waves and I'm so glad that I didn't give up on this picture. If I had stayed to, stuck to just using watercolours I most definitely would have added the water and the highlights, the, the wavy bit in the background basically. I probably would have used a Sakura jelly roll pen and I might have even used a little bit of gouache as well just to build them layers up but I just don't think it was going to happen. I, I, I'm, I'm still really salty about these paints. I am going to try and make it work. Maybe this was a little bit too ambitious for those paints. Who knows? I will try and get it to work though. I don't I don't like a bad outcome, when, especially when I've spent a lot of money on paints. So I will keep you posted on any future projects or I might just set one up just to see how it goes. I really love the fact though that the Posca pens added that extra pop though it just meant all them little details within the waves and all of the strands of hair really stood out and i am really happy with how this turned out anyway let me know in the comments what you think on this one i'd really like to hear your thoughts on this and as always thank you so much for watching and i appreciate you coming back to watch this one 
if you have enjoyed it though please click the like button and if you're new here why not hit subscribe because I'm always putting stuff up here whether it's a success or a fail who knows but why not and then you don't miss out on any others anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video and hopefully the start and the whole outcome will be a little bit more smoother than this one was anyway see you soon guys bye